I love those turbo noises, but it's been a while since I made a video on the W204 C220 CDI. That's not because it hasn't needed any attention, it actually has. So we suspect the car has a boost leak. So what I've been doing is heading over to Unruh every time the car goes into limp mode, we'll reset the computer and then it'll last for a couple of months. But the couple of months turned into a couple of weeks and it's so bad now that it only lasts a few kilometers or basically instantly puts it into limp mode. So yeah, in today's video, we're gonna be checking out if we can find the boost leak. I suspect a long time ago when I replaced the oil cooler, I didn't put everything back together the way it should be. So yeah, let's head on over to someone that knows what they're doing. Give me some tips and pointers on where to look and where to start. Is that camera moving? <laughs> and I keep buying these cheap freaking cell phone mounts. Anyway, let's head on over there. It's like a two minute drive and get started on finding the boost leak or whatever the hell is going on with this thing and fix it. That's to the floor. I will say even in limp mode, it does still do 160. check if you can hear the boost leak on camera because when I drive it you can hear it so all right so you can't hear it on camera but we see a bit of stuff in there, so I'm going to start stripping and see what we can find out. later and basically just a lot of swearing we found the fault which ended up to be a bit deeper than expected but unfortunately ran out of time it was closing time so we had to pack up and continue the next morning and here we are it's the next morning so we'll continue so ended up like i said being a bit deeper than expected um so as you saw, there were about three or four of the intake bolts that were loose. So we got that removed. 
And I'll tell you what, every single time I work on this car, I just get a newfound respect for mechanics. I also told Andrew, next time when we need to do a job as big as this on this car, I think it'll just be easier to just remove the engine and then work on everything while everything is outside because there's absolutely no space to work on it while it's in there. Some of the bolts were being a real pain and took like 20 to 25 minutes on one bolt at one stage. But anyway, so we got everything removed. Everything is super dirty. We will clean it up here in a second. But we were worried that uh, intake manifold maybe had a crack or something, but I'm 99% sure it was the bolts that somehow came loose. So we'll just be replacing the gasket and then hopefully I can put everything back together. I've said it before and I'll say it again, taking something apart is the easy part. Putting it back together again, is gonna be a bit more tricky. New intake manifold gasket, clean everything up. And then I also forgot to mention that the brake pad warning lights came on. So we'll be doing rear brakes, front brakes, and that'll be sorted as well. So I guess let the fun begin. Now, I don't want to sound old, but my back is feeling this today. But anyway, yesterday the gloves came off. We got down and dirty and got some major progress done. There's just a couple of clamps and pipes, diesel filter that I still need to get back in there. Tighten up a few things, that little plug I need to plug in. But basically we are almost there. Oh, EGR cooler needs to go back and then the vacuum collector thing. Then I'll also need to fish out all the things I dropped down there. But I think I'll do that once I start on the brakes. I'm ready to be done with this. So let's get into it, finish up over here, get started on the brakes. I haven't done brakes on this car before, but we'll figure it out. just about done but that little clamp over there is one of the things i dropped so before i get this thing back in there i do want to jack up the car get started on the brakes get that little clamp and then we'll be done over here so let's do the brakes
easy peasy uh we are done so no i'm just kidding i'm super happy to be done with this so that part was not the fun part i thought changing an oil cooler was tricky and this this <laughs> takes the cake definitely the brakes went pretty easy because for the first time i got some advice on how to actually do the brakes so very simple very quick and easy done with that i got this side done as well like you saw i got that side done and while i was busy on that side andrew just plugged it into the computer reset the computer and yeah so we are about to fire this thing up hopefully it doesn't leak we'll have to see so i'm going to start it up let it idle for a second check the coolant i already got the coolant in there i bled the coolant so just remove this hose to bleed the system so this hose over here so that should be good might short a bit of coolant later on but i'll just keep an eye on that for the next couple of days but i guess let's fire it up another very important thing before you put it into gear just check the brakes so let's see moment of truth fired right up kind of i thought the battery was a bit drained for it standing a while with the roof lights and everything burning but <laughs> so far it's looking good check engine light is no more let me check for leaks and stuff nothing under the car I think we are good. We have brakes. I'm just gonna let it idle here for a couple of minutes. Just make sure, keep an eye on everything. I'm glad to be done with this. Woohoo! Been a tough couple of days. <laughs> I think Smokey is back so if you watched up until this point of the video I saved the best part for you guys so please give this video a like um, I have the GoPro on the back because every time we reset the car I know it rolls a lot of coal <laughs> give it the beans down here and yeah hopefully i did everything right and i don't mess anything up so let's see I haven't felt this car pull in quite some time we need to press record and we're rolling second gear it's flawed. Well, so it didn't really roll any coal, so I'm gonna try it again. brakes are good but yeah anyway sorry about that uh, I really thought it would roll some coal I think it was because of that um, intake leak it just overfueled the car and then it will roll coal but maybe I should make a turn by Lance from torque tuning and he can push some buttons again um, he did say I should bring it back to him so we can fine-tune it a bit maybe try out a hard cut limit or something funny I do like the funny things but anyway I do hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm freaking tired I need to edit this video so for now that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one